So I grew up having a shop uh, on the property and my dad was a metal worker. He was a welder and so I was always around metal. Uh, I got into it, learned how to weld at an early age and like my early teens around 15 and then wanted to start making artwork out of metal so I started with blacksmithing. In university uh, and actually just prior to university I learned about a machine that does uh, specific work with metal it's called plasma cutter and uh, what it does is through electricity and forced air, compressed air, it, um, it vaporizes and shoots metal out of the way and it enables you to basically draw in metal. Growing up, my dad, like I said, was a welder and uh, worked with metal his whole adult career. And to make a little extra money, he would make windmills because he's Dutch. And so he made like 12, about well, 10 foot windmills out of steel. So he'd bend and weld, grind and paint these different designs that he would put out by the roadside and sell. pointed out to me and, and had a conversation with me about how they in their lives have a specific tree or a landscape that uh, they identify with it's personal to them and so it gave me opportunity to take an image of of that scene that tree and uh, cut it out for them translate it to the metal uh, in a soapstone drawing and then just follow the lines and cut it out The reason why I like metal work so much is because I feel like it's in my own personal history with my dad doing it, uh, my grandfather actually as well. If you picture Play-Doh or plasticine, that's kind of like what metal behaves like when you heat it up and you move it around, but then it cools and it solidifies. And so there's a lot of options, a lot of opportunity to manipulate the material in a way that you like. In the future, I want to explore doing work uh, with my brother-in-law, who actually is a pretty talented woodworker. We're talking about uh, collaborating and, and making some, could be household furnishings like lamps, could be uh, some artistic pieces as well. Uh, but there'll be creativity incorporated in anything we do.